do video games to make you violent, myth, or truth? My name is Josh Clements. My name is Jesse. I'm Marquis Fort. I'm Griffin Glazer. Uh, my name is Romeo Del Rio. Marquis St. Paul. My name is Sam Gorin, and I'm a gamer. Today's video game community has grown exponentially due to its appeal to people of all ages. As a matter of fact, the average American gamer is 35 years of age, and only 25% are under 18. Uh, I used to play video games a lot back when I was in high school, back you know my senior year. I guess what was that? 2009. Played a lot of video games, but once I entered college, it's uh, dropped down a whole lot. Since I was probably around five. Um, I've been playing them for about four or five years. I've been playing video games since I was around eight years old when I got my first GameCube, and um, now I moved on to Xbox. And I've been playing ever since. Um, I've been playing video games since I can remember, honestly. Uh, at a, my friend gave me his PlayStation 1 when I was so, so young. I don't even remember how old I was. I've been playing video games since I was like probably around eight. Um, I could say I've played it for so long. I, will, I would say since I was in grade school. When I was younger, my parent would um, put a limit on how, how long I would play with my Game Boy and um, like I would have to hide it from my mom or my dad when it comes like real late at night because I used to play it all, all day and um, yeah but not anymore. Not really but like I know like since I have school then I like place myself on how long I play. Like. <laughs> my, my parents don't put a limit on the amount of video games I play because honestly I don't play a lot of video games. Um, when I was younger, they used to, but like now that I'm 18 now, I kind of like can have have more freedom over what time I um, play. Uh, she used to, but now she really doesn't care anymore. Although people think video games cause violent tendencies, the Entertainment Software Association reported that 45% of video games sold were rated E for everyone. However, only 16% of the video games sold were rated M for mature. In that same year, the genre of video games sold the most was action with 20%, while the following genre was family entertainment. I believe there's, there's uh, truth in that statement, but it's not completely uh, video games to blame. It's uh, you know, a number of, of different things, uh, you know, depending on your background or your, you know, just how, you, how you think. It, um, it all can combine to... Um, to affect you differently. Other pe some people are affected more so than, than violent video games and others are less affected. I think it's false, really. I mean, look at me. I've been playing a lot of first-person shooters, a lot of fighting games, and I've never shot up anyone, nor have I actually fought anyone. It may have some foundations in truth, like one of the school shootings, the Columbine, was it? Uh, Two, those two school shooters were inspired by doom. I believe it's, a, it's an urban myth, but I do feel that it's true that video games and even television have desensitized uh, my generation in regards to violence, but I do not believe that that uh, provokes violent behavior in my generation. I don't think they cause negative impacts. I think like any hobby that you can spend too much time in, it reveals maybe something about a person or their situation, but I don't think the games themselves are, are harmful. Most, I don't think there's ever been research that comes out and says, yes, games are definitely harmful. Um, I think of certain um, types of people, you've got to watch out for certain types of behavior. New Yorkers said actually first person shooters have more to do with um, feeling connected, feeling in control of your life. Um, feeling engaged, um, being part of a community online, self-esteem, fighting off depression, things like that. So um, I think games have more potential for good, far more potential for good than uh, the worries about the negative effects. I think there might be some truth to it. I just think any exposure to violence, and not necessarily video games, but anything, it, it influences. Obviously you're influenced by everything around you, so if your video games influence violence, then you're probably more likely to be a violent person or resort to violence as a solution if you have a problem. Uh, I definitely believe it's an issue. Um, 
I see a strong correlation between American youth uh, playing video games and the huge number of school shootings and mall shootings. I mean, you hear the phrase, you know, guns kill people, but Americans kill people. This doesn't happen in other countries. Why is that? The graphics are so good. I mean, you're watching people get shot in the head every day. I mean, that's, you're watching someone get shot in the head when you see it happen in front of your face. Like for real, it no longer has the same, you know, reaction. You don't react the same way anymore because you see it every day. You do it every day. I believe that video games and even cartoons like SpongeBob SquarePants create violence. Um, they have the tendency of hitting other people, even cartoon characters hitting each other. So they think it's okay for them to hit. That's why I use SpongeBob as one. Uh, you know, Patrick hits uh, SpongeBob or they kick Mr. Krabs or, you know, what they do to Squidward. I don't believe in any of that. My son's not allowed to watch it. He's two and a half years old. It definitely creates violence. I believe that is the main reason of the bullying in schools and the domestic, like, the fighting, all the fighting. It, it, shows, it shows them that it's okay to hit somebody because it's funny and it's really not. I think one of the reasons I'm interested in video games is I think um, what is changing is it's a really great introduction into uh, technology, digital culture. Um, it's... Um, I've got a daughter who's 13 and she hasn't known a world that's not a connected world. And every time she plays a game, she's practicing the skills that she's gonna use in the workplace, whether it's how to navigate a computer, uh, computer uh, how to download and install software, the hardware for the computer, um, how to connect with people around the world, um, it's Skype and Google Hangouts. And um, I think that those soft skills or informal skills are really gonna help kids moving forward. Educators, like Moffitt, are beginning to see the benefits of using video games in the classroom. I think the most important thing you can do with video games is, uh, especially in uh, education, especially on Temple's campus or any college campus, I think if you emphasize having a place for students to play, um, we're going to move forward a lot faster with video games um, as far as how they relate to education because I think educators are still looking at games as isolated moments of teaching something that they taught in an old way, but I think games show us a new way of communicating and connecting that I think is going to eventually change the way we think about teaching and learning.